even if you have different motivation, differences, but we have civilized way of working through and ironing our differences. Of course, you cannot satisfy 100%. Of course, I cannot satisfy myself 100%. But there's middle ground to find the civilized way of resolving our differences. I think that's beauty of negotiation. My name is uh, Che Byung-il. Uh, family name is Che. Quite often, my American friends call me Choi, but you know, I joke to them, as long as you call me Choi, you will be never my true friends. And uh, I'm a professor of international trade and negotiation at uh, Iwa Omens University. This is a sort of you know, the interdisciplinary uh, in social science. Uh, I touch a bit of international trade policy on one side, but trade negotiation, because many important trade issues, they have certain outstanding issues and making new rule a conflict between countries. And you need to have both countries uh, sit down and to talk each other. Eventually, you will eat agreement, disagreement. You should implement it and so on. So, well, I had a... Uh, chances to meet with uh, several Grinnell uh, students who are interested in studying economics or some uh, different version of economics. So my first question is, well, well, why do you feel attracted by economics? I'm an economist, but I thought it was a very boring subject in the beginning. So I told them students, well, the, you have long life, and uh, don't try to be economist, uh, and period. At the same time, I told them the significance of studying economics, because economics is called the you know, queen of social science. That's sort of a bit imperialistic statement to any other person. But one thing good about being student in economics is you tend to see some very essential characteristics of personal life. And you will uh, consider cost and benefit. So nothing like you know, black and white, pure and simple. You try to appreciate, differentiate the nuances of your life. In my class, as I mentioned to you, the, we teach economics and politics. And quite often, uh, you see the, those are two worlds. There's no bridge between them. But unless there's bridge between politics, political arena, and economic arenas, then this society is going to repeat its own cycles and uh, somehow eventually there's a danger and possibility of falling apart and uh, breaking down. I had my certain image of Grinnell uh, by these stories and by my search of you know, Googles and so on. But the uh, town is uh, much more uh, romantic or peaceful, uh, so quiet uh, than I expected. And, but you know, there's certain charm in the real prairie in Iowa because this is a very important heartland of uh, agricultural product, which is very important in my study of international trade negotiation because agriculture is very political at one point, but uh, it should carry very economic uh, dimension. This is a totally different part of the world, but uh, I'm uh, becoming very reflective and also I see some new light in the future. Yeah.